everything we do in our daily lives requires some forces. Even if we are standing or sitting, some forces are acting on us. Opening a door, which is a simple activity, and it requires the muscular force to rotate the doorknob. Cycling. Now let's see how many forces are required while cycling. First one is the applied force. The one who is cycling is applying his muscular force to move the paddles. Then is the friction. Friction is a force that always opposes any motion when two surfaces are in contact with each other. So here, the friction force is between the surface of the road and surface of tires. If there would be no friction between the tires and the road, the tires will keep on moving very fast and even slip off. It is because of this friction or the opposing force that we can balance the tires. Friction force is also acting between your hands and handles. If there would be no friction, it would slip off from your hands. Friction force is also there between the sole of your shoes and the paddles. If there would be no friction, your shoes will slip off from the paddles. Everywhere where there is a grip, it is because of the friction Next force acting here is gravity. Force of gravity pulls the cycle downwards. There is also a force acting from the ground, which is pushing it upwards. So there are different forces acting while we are running a bicycle. Gravity is pulling down. Ground is pushing upward. Friction is opposing the movement. Applied force or muscular force is moving it forward. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye!